New tonight at 10, KXAN investigators have learned an Austin woman who worked the polls during early voting in Travis County died yesterday from COVID-19. Patricia Perez thought she got it from another poll worker was infected with the virus. KXAN investigator Aaron Cargyle asked the Travis County clerk what actions they took, but found out her family believes more could have been done to protect her and voters. If she believes in something, she wants to, she tends to fight for it. But COVID-19 was no match for Patricia Perez. Her children say she had barely left her house since March. She had been very safe, very careful. But there was no stopping her from working the Travis County polls during early voting, a job she's performed for years. She's like, you know, I got my gloves on, I got my mask on, you know, I'm going to be safe. Perez's family says she was assisting voters at this Holiday Inn near I-35 and 290 and on October 22nd called her children concerned about a fellow poll worker. She was so upset. She had noticed a guy was sick and had been blowing his nose, coughing. Perez told her family he was wearing a mask but kept working that day with symptoms and then he went to get a test. The poll worker felt fine when they went to work that morning. Uh, and felt fine until much later uh, during the day and then began to feel just a little puny and immediately told people there that the poll worker just wasn't feeling right and everybody uh, decided that that person should leave immediately and that is what happened. When Perez learned that same day he tested positive for COVID-19, she called her U.S. congressman. Apparently, she ended up sitting in the same chair as this person um, and um, was very concerned. Lloyd Doggett says his staff called the Travis County Clerk's Office urging them to take action. The clerk says steps were already being taken, contact tracing with the poll workers and communicating they should get tested and quarantine. Perez started feeling sick and tested positive about a week later. And she wasn't just worried about her own health. She said there was so many. Um voters so that came in contact with this man. We asked the county clerk why voters at that site were not notified. CDC guidelines were followed because all of our election workers always wear masks and practice social distancing. So there's no contact with voters that's close enough or extended enough for them to be exposed. The Perez family says Patricia would have wanted people to hear her story. Now, you know, she doesn't have a voice and today we are being that voice for her. And no, our actions matter. I'm hopeful that with early voting approaching us again, that word is going out as with any workplace, don't come if you have symptoms. Erin Cargyle, KXAN Investigates. Travis County clerk said that she doesn't have any evidence that other poll workers or voters may have gotten sick from this particular situation. The Perez family set up a GoFundMe page to help cover medical and funeral expenses. There's a link with this story on KXAN.com.